Okay, in about five hours, the brisket is, it's gonna be done and it's gonna be phenomenal, okay? That's not a word I usually use, but that's what it is. Or banging, or whatever you wanna call it. It's just gonna be awesome brisket. Uh, so now I'm gonna do my macaroni and cheese. It's called um, over the top, top, top macaroni and cheese. It's with seven cheeses. It's uh, Munster cheese, mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, Monterey Jack, mozzarella, provolone, and Velveeta. Those are the seven cheeses I'll use. I have my uh, first cookbook with the macaroni and cheese. Um, and since then I've grown up and I've grown into this seafood macaroni and cheese lady. Thanks to Bud Ellison, my musical director who passed of uh, prostate cancer some time ago. So whenever I cook this, I think of Bud. And it's gonna be with lobster and shrimp. Add it to the cheeses and the egg and the seasoned salt and the butter and the half and half cream. Whew. First, I'm gonna start by taking off the bling bling. The nastiest thing that you can see in a kitchen is somebody cooking and tossing food with their freaking rings on and long fingernails. Okay, nasty. So I'll put the ring over here, I'll pick up some gloves because I'm gonna work this macaroni and cheese with my hands. And I don't trust people's hands. People have their hands all in your food and sticking it in chicken and just passing on stuff. First you gotta get the gloves on. Now that takes a little while. But then you get them on and you hope that this bracelet won't fall into the macaroni and cheese. It won't. And they're easy. Pour that macaroni in there. There's another piece. I mean, and when you make a potato salad and stuff like that, you know people usually toss stuff. Put that in, put the cheeses in. All right, that's one cheese. This is another one. I gave you the names, you should remember. Okay, I said the Munster provolone, mozzarella, sharp cheddar, cheddar, other cheddar, Velveeta. <laughs> Just cheeses, loads of cheeses. You like cheese, I hope. And then you mix it, and I'll put the Velveeta in last. Why, well, I don't know, but <laughs> I just do. Actually, when it bubbles, the yellow of the Velveeta is really pretty. Now you can use as much cheese as you want. Actually, if I had time, I would cut some more cheese and put it on the top, but I don't have time. And this is the lobster, and this is the shrimp. Oh, you saute your shrimp before you put them in the macaroni. Don't put in raw shrimp. <laughs> because although it takes about 45 minutes for this stuff to brown, you know the macaroni's already cooked. Steam your lobster and dice it up. This is the butter. Just spread it around. Ooh, butter, butter. This is the egg, put it in there. It's kind of gross using raw egg, but it cooks. This is a seasoned salt. And it's going in like this, but I'm gonna mix it up. Okay, and this is a half and half. What? I watch people when they're doing their cooking shows and I hear all those noises. And it's natural. I'm making noise in the kitchen, on television. <laughs> okay, now everything's mixed up. And then on the very top, I'm gonna add paprika, just so that I'll have a beautiful color. And the cheese in the macaroni, it's gonna pull like a pizza. <laughs> because it's mozzarella and provolone cheese. Now I'm gonna pour this paprika on top. I know the gloves are touching the paprika, the glass, but it's safe. It's all safe. And if you want to put cayenne pepper on the top, you can, if you want hot and spicy macaroni and cheese. Now, I'm going to clean this up because I like a pretty plate, okay? It's as pretty as it's going to get. Now the only thing I have to do now is put it in an oven at 325 for like 45 minutes. Or you can just open the oven every now and then and see if it's brown. And if it's brown, then you take that girl out, okay? Don't let it burn. 
just let it get a pretty, pretty color brown. This is the trash. Let me put this in the trash. Let me get my little beautiful Cynthia mittens. They're beautiful. Okay, I'm ready to put my macaroni and cheese and lobster and shrimp in the oven. I'm gonna put it in with my brisket. My brisket is cooking for, like I said, forever. Um, so every now and then check your macaroni and cheese to make sure it's, it's getting brown. I check it every 20 minutes. And that last 20 minutes, it should be done. So I'm gonna place it in the oven. Here's another one that takes a strong girl, okay? Whoa! Be careful you don't burn your hair. Okay, the heat. Jesus. Okay. That's it. Next, I'm gonna do my um, Patty LaBelle cabbage shuffle, or whatever you wanna call it. It's just so many things in it, and um, you sort of uh, saute it, but sort of steam it, and sort of just cook it. I'll be back with my cabbage.